Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm counting down my picks for the top 10 best players ever since the year 2000. So, yeah, just a few disclaimers. This is going throughout their entire time playing in the 2000s. Alright, so the best players, the most influential, all that kind of stuff, okay? Points for anything, okay? If they're good, they'll probably make it on the list. If they're influential, they might make it on the list. If they were not any of those things, well then, they're not going to make it on the list. Okay, and you may be wondering, why is that Penguins jersey you saw earlier from the Hockey Hall of Fame? And why is this from the Hockey Hall of Fame? I went there. Alright, so just, yeah, I took a ton of pictures. So, yeah. Number 10 on this list is Jordan Stahl. Okay, he's a very, very good player. He was drafted by the Pittsburgh Penguins. Okay, very, like, just... A good player altogether. All right, he still plays. He's still a really good player. All right, he's he currently plays on Carolina, but a very good player, and that's why he makes it on this 10th place. Well, not place, but 10th spot. All right, so ninth on this list is Eric Stahl. All right, another very, very good player. And just, yeah, very, very good player. He had a very, very good time in... Um, Carolina and he currently plays on Minnesota he is still a very good player um definitely um no offense to Jordan Mark or Jared I believe okay I, I didn't remember I didn't like really memorize all of all of the stalls all right I just memorized Jordan and Mark I just didn't um, remember um if it was Jared or not but yeah all right and Jared stall but I think Eric Stahl is the best of the stalls currently still playing. All right? I mean, Jared, he doesn't play anymore, but at least I don't think he does. Does he? I I don't know, but yeah. All right. And you may have wondered, why isn't Eric Stahl from the um, Hockey Hall of Fame? I didn't find a picture of him in there. Well, I think he was in there somewhere. Or maybe he wasn't. I'm not sure. But, I mean, I didn't get a photo of him, so... But this, coming in at number eight, eight is Zdeno Chara, all right? Definitely one of the best defensemen I've ever seen, okay? He has, I know, he did play longer than the year 2000, but his time, the, wait, did he? I think he did, okay, but still. His time from the year 2000 to now has been phenomenal. Great captain for the Boston Bruins. All right, he's won a Stanley Cup with, with Boston. He was just amazing. Coming in at number seven, I found this in the Hockey Hall of Fame, but, okay, but, so here we go. Okay, coming in at number seven is Patrick Kane, okay? He didn't play, like, I think he played, like, about half of the two, of the 2000s so far. Like, yeah, but, um, don't quote me on that, but, like, it's, 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 Close to half, all right? About half. All right, didn't he? Yeah, like about half um, of the 2000s, but still, he's a very good player. Still currently plays. Won three cups with Chicago, so obviously he's pretty good. Scored that OT winner against the Flyers. Um, No offense to you Flyers fans, but I'm kind of glad that he scored, but yeah. Sadly enough, I did not get a picture from Malkin either, so... Well, of Malkin. So I got the. So I just kind of got this one up and yeah. But number six, Evgeny Malkin. All right, phenomenal player. He still is amazing. I mean, up to up to this day, he's fabulous. Okay, I mean, there's really not much to say about him. I mean, he can stick handle well. He can skate pretty well. He can score goals well. We can get assists. He's just yeah. You get my point. And coming in at number five, the top five, Joe Thornton, all right? He played a longer time than just the 2000s. He played in the late 1990s, I think, as well, but yeah. All right, but Joe Thornton, he can get a lot of assists, all right? And I mean a lot of them. One year, he even got 96 of them, okay? So he is very, very, very talented. And here we go. Number four, it was a tough one. I'm going with Yager. Yarmir Yager. Final answer. Okay. Terrific player. He did play some of his best hockey, though, in the 90s. 
with the Penguins and stuff, but I still think he was really good in the 2000s. And I mean, like, really good. Like, with the Rangers and the Capitals and, well, the Flyers and Boston and New Jersey and Dallas and Calgary and Florida. Yeah, I don't want to lose my voice doing all of this stuff. <laughs> um, that's all I can really name right now that I remember, just off the top of my head. So, yeah, that's number four. So, number three was a hard one. It came down between Ilya Kovalchuk or Pavel Datsuk. I have chosen to do Pavel Datsuk. Yep, that's right. I've chosen him. I was leaning towards Ilya Kovalchuk. But then, when I found out Ilya Kovalchuk had no cups, alright... For some reason, I thought he had one, but I'm just, yeah. And then Pavel Datsuk, he does have one, so. This just came down to who had more Stanley Cups, and Pavel Datsuk did, so. That's why. I found this in the Hockey Hall of Fame. It is Alex Ovechkin at number two. You knew it was coming down between either Ovechkin or Crosby. And I really think that Ovechkin is the better goal scorer and the better point getter, except Crosby, I think, is a better all-around player. So I, I chose Crosby to be first and Ovechkin to be second. Like I said before, I'm going to do Crosby first. <sighs> well, I like Crosby. Well, I like him a lot. I like Ovechkin a lot. I like everybody on this list a lot. Okay? So, yeah. Crosby, best player since the year 2000. Like, yeah. Just, yeah. It is time for some honorable mentions. So, I was I was going to put McDavid as the third, and then I thought, it's too soon to judge for him. So, I just didn't, and then it came down between Kovalchuk and Datsuk. Patrick Laine was a little tempting to put as that eighth spot, except then I realized... Chara is definitely better than Lane. So, yeah, that's. Mm hmm. Fleuria is pretty tempted to put on here as that third spot. It's just I think Yager was. Yager and Thornton were a little bit more, like. Yeah, than him. Like, more influential than him. Because he's a really good goalie. I just don't think he, like, revolutionized it. Yager, I feel like, revolutionized it because of how old he was. And Joe Thornton, he, did, he really didn't revolutionize it but he got a ton of assists okay and he, that made him good enough for that slot he got so flurry definitely a really good goaltender before i leave this video i know this photo is a little blurry but um i'd like to say thank you to willie ori first african-american to play in the nhl okay thank you for just all like all you've done like revolutionizing hockey by letting by showing black people that they can also, like, play hockey, okay? Players like P.K. Subban, Malcolm Subban, Anthony Duclair, all of them, terrific hockey players. So thank you, really, Willie O'Ree.